Melissa from Scotland, Melissa Greenick. Mm -hmm. And yep. she came here as a little girl when she's 11 years old by herself. You know, it was before the war, and it was, you know, the Depression was going on, and my, my, my uh, grandparents, my grandfather, my grandmother had run off with another man, and my grandfather had six kids and just one too many. And they sent my mom to America, 11 years old, right. to, right. to live with an older sister and be a servant girl. So it was a... Uh, I think that's why I became a comedian, because my mother always had this... Sort of sadness, you know. Mother, yeah. when I would look over, she'd always be. So I always felt oh. it was my duty to, to do something oh. to, to, to cheer up or and make yeah, her laugh. Yeah. And, yeah. And I brought her back to Scotland, actually. Did you? A couple. Well, you know, she didn't want to go. This is the most ridiculous reason oh, why she go didn't on. want to go. On. <laughs> my dad was Italian, and uh, very loud and outspoken. My mother's Scottish. My mother used to say, the worst thing you do is call attention to yourself. You don't want to be the center of attention. Well, that obviously did not work out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Not quite. Name my father took my mother down to get her citizenship tests. And you're allowed to get six questions wrong. You get seven wrong, and you flunk. So they take my mother down, and she gets six questions wrong. And the seventh question the judge asked my mother was, what is the Constitution of the United States? And my mother said, it's a boat. Well, it, there is the USS Constitution. <laughs> and the judge, oh, said, technically. the judge said, I'm sorry, you failed. My father failed. What are you talking about? It's a boat. It's in the harbor. What are, you, what are you talking about? And they had this huge argument. Finally, the judge, look, fine, fine, you pass. Fine. Just get out, get out. So, <laughs> to, Why would that say it? 60 years to the day, I, I said to my mom, well, let's go back. Well, no, no. And I couldn't figure out why. She was so afraid that after my father left, the judge had went back. Oh, and goodness. revoked her citizenship that she didn't want to go get a passport. Oh. Because she was scared to death that the, uh, the judge said that yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, a yeah, bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So finally, of course, I go down and get the passport. There's no problem. <laughs> and we took her well, back. So I was just going to say that we're going we're gonna to kind of touch on your Scottish roots as, right. the, as the program right. goes. Oh, we've got yes, a lot to get are. through tonight. We have a lot to get to. <laughs> we do, we do. And first up, we have a very unusual task for Joe Crowley tonight. Yes, we've sent him to Belgium to take... <sighs> uh, beautiful! Oh, it's remarkable! Well, there we are! <laughs> that is all for tonight. <laughs> Thanks so much to Jay and good luck, of course, to him in the millennium. Oh, tomorrow we're going to have to be joined by Portsmouth Pat himself, Stephen Mangan and pop princess Rita Ora. We'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>